right, so here's our next example. Um, we want to find equations of the tangent lines to this curve here. This is another Limasson um, at the pole. Uh, now, pole just refers to the origin, right? The pole in polar coordinates is the origin, right? That's where we measure all of our, our distances from. Um, it's also where we measure our angles from, right? The pole, the origin plays a central role in the polar coordinate system, as it does in rectangular. Okay. Now, notice it asks for tangents plural. Uh, that's because if you go ahead and you plot this particular Limasson, um, you find that you get a curve which is something like this goes out, around, back, loops through, comes around, okay? So we have a curve that looks something like that. And so you can see that there are indeed two tangent lines at the origin, one here and one there, because the curve passes through the origin more than once. It's a self-intersecting curve. Okay, so in order to figure this out, we've got to figure out what value of theta corresponds to r equals zero, right? r equals zero is the origin. Okay, so we set r equal to zero. So that means zero is one plus two sine theta. Well, that means that two sine theta should be minus one half. Okay, well, there are, there are going to be two angles. Um, I should say, as, as usual here, Theta runs between 0 and 2 pi. There are going to be two angles between 0 and 2 pi where that, where that works out, right? So um, 1 half the related angle there is pi over 6. So the two places where, um, where sine theta is negative, one is over here at 7 pi over 6. The other one is over here at 11 pi over 6, okay? So theta is 7 pi over 6 or... 11 pi over 6. Um, you might prefer um, to instead use minus pi to pi as your interval, in which case these would be um, minus pi over 6 and minus 5 pi over 6. It's up to you which way you want to do it. You'll get the same answer either way, of course. Um, this is just a matter of personal taste. Um, whether you like the slightly smaller fractions, but the negative in front, or do you rather avoid the minus signs and you'll s settle for the, the larger fractions, okay? All right, so we have our two angles. Now we need to find the equation of the tangent lines at those two points, right? So we can say, all right, uh, as usual, we use these equations here, and we say, okay, uh, well, we don't have to worry about the you know, we know what x and y are going to be, right? We're, we're looking at x equals 0, um, y equals 0, because we're, we're at the pole. So that saves us a little bit of trouble. What we need is we need the derivative at the pole, right? So we come back and we say, okay, like last time, dy dx should be dy d theta over dx d theta, where in this case, we multiply by cos x is going to be cos theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta, which I can write as cos theta plus, um, oops, plus sine 2 theta. Y is going to be sine theta plus 2 sine squared theta. Okay, give me that. So dy dx, let's do dy d theta first. We get cos theta plus 2 times 2. So actually we have 4. Let's just make that a 4. 4 sine theta cos theta. There's d, dy d theta. Okay. Again, using chain rule. dx d theta, we get minus sine theta plus 2 cos 2 theta, okay? All right. Um, now we have to put in the two angles here, right? So when theta is equal to 7 pi over 6, well, in that case, cos theta will be, so 7 pi over 6 puts us here, 
cos theta is negative there, minus root 3 over 2. Sine theta will be minus 1 half. Okay. And so what we're going to get, and, and by the way, uh, 2 theta, because we're going we're gonna to need it here, unless we want to mess around with identities, we can do that too. Um, 2 theta will be 7 pi over 3. Now, 7 pi over 3 is, is 2 pi plus pi over 3. So that means that cosine of, of 2 times 7 pi over 6 is a half. All right? So we can, we can put the values in, and we find that dy dx is going to be, so up top, we're going to have minus root 3 over 2 plus 4 times minus a half times minus root 3 over 2. And on the bottom, we've got minus minus a half, so 1 half plus 2 times a half, right? So that's just going to be 1. Okay. And if we want to do theta is equal to 11 pi over 6, So then cos theta will now be plus root 3 over 2. Sine theta will be uh, still minus a half. Cosine of 2 theta, so 11 pi over 6, uh, becomes 11 pi over 3. 11 pi over 3 is here, right? It's 1 less than 4 pi. be 12 pi over 3. Um, so actually, uh, cos 2 theta will still be plus 1 half because cosine is positive in quadrant 4. And we get dy dx equal to, well, the only thing that's actually going to change are these two minus signs here. So we get root 3 over 2, and then we get 4 times minus a half times root 3 over 2. On the bottom, we have, again, 1 half plus 1. Okay, um, now you can clean that up if you want, right? We can do some simplifying. I think it, it actually cleans up reasonably well if we wanted to do it. Um, but we're at almost eight minutes in the video, so I don't think you really care to be watching me do the arithmetic. From here, where do we go? Well, we can clean up those values or we can punch them into the calculator if we want the decimal approximation. Um, the tangents go through the origin, so the, the lines are just going to be y is equal to mx, right? Where m is the slope. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice, and it drives with the picture, um, the second slope is the negative of the first slope, right? These are opposite signs. So we can sort of see that as you're coming around, right? We have the, uh, the two slopes. This one, this one, with equal and opposite slopes for those two tangent lines. Um, if you want to see the simplified numerical answers, you can, you can look them up in the textbook.